Hey there, welcome to the season 2 of Stories of Modern Work podcast, where I discuss and learn from Office 365 users, consultants, developers and IT pros on how they use Office 365 as a modern work platform. My name is Jag Kakarlapudi. I'm the founder of Modern Work Group, where we specialize in building Office 365 business solutions and on-demand user training to get maximum benefit from your Office 365 deployments. Today we have with us Chandra Ram from SX IQ back on um, with us today to share a story on how a music academy in India is able to continue to deliver music classes uh, online uh, and stay afloat during this pandemic. We also discuss other things, of course, related to Microsoft Teams and how to use Teams during uh, remote work. Without further ado, let's get into the episode. So look uh, this is the custom background I've been using in some of my calls we have a a call uh, every every friday to with with few of my team members we would discuss like friday drinks and uh, we discuss just random stuff nothing to do with work we discuss like you know politics and things like that so I have this white house thing going on uh, in in my background and people were started starting to laugh and uh, we were discussing about uh, trump's uh, uh, pr- press conferences and things like that Okay. and then what i did is i've changed my background to something like this you know uh, a an office in the white house like a <laughs> conference room it feels like that now i'm actually coming in from the white house <laughs> and and then and they and they all had a good, good fun and we were talking about fake news and other things and then i've yeah. just changed it to something like this yeah. uh, and and they say like okay you're coming in from a news room and they all started cracking up and 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 uh, laughing and things like that um i'm coming in from my uh, uh, the the news room here or i can actually do something funny and probably you know we are all missing a bit of uh, working from the office or you know you want to put an office background like a real one you can do that as well so you could feels like you're coming in from a, a yeah look you you're coming in from a, a school classroom <laughs> okay or or something uh something like this like you like know yeah, like a, a reporter oh wow i like that yeah is mine a beach yes okay nice. i think it's a beach in uh, california okay. something all right uh let's so, go but the thing is you know what i i, I really don't like uh, the uh, the custom backgrounds in a way Dude, because i honestly don't like it i yeah. like to draw yeah the voice <laughs> Yeah it's it's because you know it's a bit of distraction and yeah, in a way yeah. it's all about not having that distraction to start yeah. with yeah. so with that said i love the uh, the custom background features especially for the people who are working um, and uh, you know in 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 locations where they yeah. can't really share uh, their background i actually yeah. see this as a as a as a security feature like we discussed last time right yeah. about yeah. Uh, not showing up passwords and uh, your personal notes uh, mm. stuck mm. on walls or on whiteboards or or in your living rooms or in your kitchen yeah. rooms or some things yeah. right yeah so that's actually a good security feature in my view so true chenda i'll keep it i'll keep it real Yeah yeah let's let's keep it real i'm going to take my custom background away as well and i've actually made some changes to my um my study here in my house um mm-hmm. uh hang on uh, i can't get to show background effects i'm still getting the hang of this uh, new custom backgrounds feature so just bear yeah. with me all right um there all you right. go so i've made some changes to the actual um uh the office itself so previously you you saw that uh, there's few um bookcases and things yeah. uh, with uh, posters and stuff so i yeah. actually removed all of that and 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 went with a plain wall uh, yeah. uh, it actually it's uh, it it looks it, it looks all right in in my view because it it takes you focus to what i am saying and uh, especially because i do online trainings uh mm. using microsoft teams and mm. uh, uh there are some webinar softwares and uh, having mm. something in the background is actually distracting some of my uh, attendees yeah. there's like jag what are those books that you read you know can i just can you zoom in a bit and, <laughs> and things like that so so i decided to not go with it probably i'll have some is the same thing this work yeah uh, uh, art dude go for a mural yeah But, i'm i'm mm, mu- i don't know man a uh, mural is i need to bring in someone to go and uh, do a mural right for sure i know yeah, someone yeah. is actually going to work on my project 
Right. Okay. Uh, probably one I can think. One of the top artists in Melbourne, yeah. but I'm paying good amount of money to. Anyway, we'll That's keep sure. that offline. Yeah. So I'm, 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 I have a an artwork that I already bought on online. Oh yeah. So it's it's coming. Uh, it, it'll it'll probably get delivered uh, whenever. Is that it, more like a wallpaper? No, it's 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 a proper art. Uh, it's like a large canvas art. Oh wow, awesome! So let's see uh, when it comes. Uh, uh, but if not, I actually like the the white background as well because yeah. I can play with the lights a bit as well when yeah, I record yeah, yeah. my online courses and things. Especially your videos, yes. Yes, yes. So it's it's good that way. Dude, I have an idea. You yeah, know what, what you should do with all the videos that you may have done. Of course, that will be client specific videos. But if there are any generic videos and stuff that you have worked on. just combine that make it into a package and make it into an online learning portal and make do it for free now now is the time yeah yeah i'm already thinking yeah i'm already thinking in 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 uh, something around that so okay. uh, stay tuned for it i'm actually oh. working in my uh, free time to put together a a a, a an online course platform yes. so yes. Okay. so that's so we'll we'll talk about it uh, in in the coming episodes mm. for sure yes. um, we'll so let's uh, just talking about Uh, this remote work and how office 365 mm. enables your employees to be more productive engaged and motivated to get the work done and and uh, ha- let's talk teams in in today's episode right let's yeah. talk uh, we've already uh, talked about new the new features like custom backgrounds and how uh, mm. how it can help in a way uh, around security and privacy things um and lately we're seeing a lot of uh, news around zoom um uh video conferencing software and teams and things like that as well mm-hmm. so what's your thoughts on uh, what's happening uh, with zoom uh it's interesting yeah this seems like a security concern and um quite naturally i pity the time timing of what happened right now because now would have been now is the time where zoom could have just taken over like a storm which probably it started to but it with, did it did uh, yeah. people are actually taking up uh, uses of zoom zoom uh, usage usage of zoom has skyrocketed uh, but i think it's also because of that people started to realize that it is not meant for uh, business use correct correct yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, or, or like you know especially when you're uh, with 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 some of those security and privacy loopholes yeah Yeah. and and interestingly enough i don't know uh, whether you are aware about it zoom has been completely banned in india mm yeah mm. it's that's it's that's interesting uh, yeah, yeah um yeah it's not just in india i think i've, I've read few articles around uh, a few um, of the education departments uh, asking okay. uh, asking the principals and things not to use zoom okay. instead switch to teams mm. because i think teams overall has a better compliance and security capability yes. around yes. Uh, yes. you you have control on where your data gets resi- is residing mm. it's it's better end to end encryption as well Correct. compared to zoom um Correct. people think that you know zoom is good because it is easy for people to use they can jump on a zoom call and and pretty much uh, yeah. get on with it don't, don't need to install anything it's yeah. the same story with the microsoft teams as well mm. um because remember that when you and i had that discussion around how do we uh, bring guests to your yes. podcast yes. Uh, yes. to yes. Yes. your music podcast yeah. uh, you know we were like you know what is the right platform to use we we've, yeah. we've, we've decided to use teams because it actually yeah. allows us to uh get bring people in using their browsers they don't need to install anything uh, it's just that an email and invitation as, uh, click on it just get on with it actually the thing is i had a question for you in in that context uh does it make a difference for people who are using the windows desktop as opposed to the browser because what i have done though for my guess i've done like four or five episodes so far i have suggested them to download the windows app if possible if not just go with the web browser and in fact i have had one of the guests just doing it with his phone that's it and yeah. it's just been seamless it actually yeah. worked fine so yeah. but i don't know whether the quality differs per se though. see the quality of the videos or the quality of the voice is not going to make a big difference okay. um there could be some difference but not a big enough difference that, mm. that you would notice mm. um but there are some capabilities some features in in teams right. that are not uh, available when you use it on browser yes. but the thing is it's it's for you to get a, a video call conference going to share your desktop and things it 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 does the yeah. job 
Yeah. So it yeah. does uh, the browser based uh, experience will do the core requirements of what you want for, uh, from yes. uh, what you expect from Microsoft Teams or a video conferencing software to do. Yeah. So yeah. if people yeah. think that oh Teams is too much, uh, I have to install a uh, lot, I have to log in with Microsoft accounts and things like that. That's not the case. No, um, it's not the case. It, yeah. it is as easy as as using Zoom, but more secure as well. So I, that's why I, I I say you know stay away from Zoom and and start to use Teams. Mm. Mm. Yes, mm. Teams may not actually have all the the latest uh, and greatest features around a Zoom may have, yeah. like you know supporting of multiple people, showing multiple people at. Uh, I think Zoom can show up to. 20 plus 30 people at the same time on on the video um a micro a team only yeah, teams will only support four people at this stage and they're but talking about yeah 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 Nine, i have very uh, soon i think yes it's coming up in april uh, so yeah. they have the ability to see nine people on it's you know those yeah. small things uh you know uh, um is mm. is not is not um is not there but mm. with Teams, you can also record. Uh, people think that you can't record your videos. You can actually record, yeah. and it goes into your Microsoft Stream account, and, yeah, and in the, the recordings are secure as well. It's not like recordings are sitting in a in a in a server somewhere in a yeah, different yeah. country that you mm. can't have control on. Um, True. So yeah. I, I think Zoom. Uh, if if someone's ha actually got a license for Teams, you know, for Office three sixty five, and if they're using a non uh, Teams um software mm. Mm. for video conferencing uh for collaboration uh i don't know why uh I, I really wanted to know why people are actually not using teams if they already have office 365 license true yeah uh, and then also for people slash organizations who do not have a license do remember that microsoft is offering all the premium features included for free for the first six months yeah in the e1 license yeah yeah yes yes I think there are a few caveats in there. Probably I need to, I uh, will put a, a, sh a link to that uh, offer. Uh, there are some caveats around it. it, it I should can be actually touch upon that caveat if you like, uh, because yeah, well, it was in the yeah. process, but we can always do that while I'm talking about the other part or I can do it now. It's, yeah, it's... Go for it now. Uh, tell what's the, the, the how, how the, do people, how, how do businesses, if they're not using Microsoft Teams or Office 65 and mm -hmm. they want to get on the bandwagon, what do they need to do? So the thing is, though, uh, I can talk about the real life scenario that just happened. But uh, before I jump into that, uh, one of the things that we found was now, again, uh, this person who runs a music academy in India, right, uh, needs something to run a school and he cannot use Zoom. And now uh, the issue is he's he's got a bunch of options in front of him. Uh, teams and so many other third party ones, but he's unsure which one to go with, right? And so here with the teams, of course, the caveat that I want to emphasize about is the fact that at least in India, I, this is the way it is. Although this first six months is free, you still have to make an annual commitment there. So you mm -hmm. have to go with, uh, it was just per user, it just comes down to 125 rupees uh, plus GST, of course. Uh, yep but that's per month per user right but you have to make an annual commitment to get the first six months free sure, so it's sure. just not getting free just like that so what i also you might also be aware that there's also a team's free option yes are you yes. aware about that yes and yes. and um as much as we explored trying trying to get just that it still took us through the sign up for the annual commitment mm -hmm. so which was a bit weird i thought but however yeah, yeah. i think i think uh, the microsoft is actually in a transition phase now okay. that they're actually releasing uh they re rebranded all their um uh mm -hmm. personal and mm -hmm. business plans to yeah. microsoft 365 microsoft. instead of office 365 and they reject their some of their plans as well mm -hmm. as mm -hmm. part of the transition now i think um i think and people can actually sign up for teams uh, either the free version or a family uh, plan as well mm. uh, previously for for those uh, plans microsoft is pushing people to use skype mm. uh, for mm. for the for the uh, personal plans but mm. now i think teams is going to start to yeah, yeah. be and have a package up as as that yeah but the yeah. thing is I, I still i still struggling uh, this is one of my pet peeves uh, i know we'll we'll talk about our pet peeves with teams but i i can't uh, the naming man the naming of of the product is is 
sports teams yeah teams mm -hmm. and you also have teams inside teams like you know you have yeah. channels and teams. it's just it's really hard you know i i yeah. um, I, I like the the sounding of of something like a slack or a zoom you know let's get on a zoom call rather than you know let's get on a team's call if, for example let's say you and uh, your dad wants to have a, a a a conference call it's hard for you to say let's get on a team's call you know it's it's <laughs> yeah yeah so, yeah there's also uh, another thing uh, something that i've come across especially with the clients in fact one of the clients that i'm working with currently is whenever i have to distinguish between teams and the SharePoint team side, they, oh. they always get confused with the team side. Then they're like, hey, uh, is that SharePoint or this Microsoft, Microsoft Teams? What are we talking about? I said, yeah. no, this is the Microsoft, Microsoft Teams. <laughs> I, I, I exactly have the same thing as well. You know, it's just the uh, same experience in the, when I do online trainings for uh, around SharePoint and, uh, you know, teamwork and things like that. Uh, yeah. It's like, you know. We say, okay, let's create this team which is connected to a Teams and 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 get people to log on through using Microsoft Teams. It's like, hang on, what what are you talking about? Which team are you talking about? You know, it's just like you know, it's yeah. really. So I keep saying it's as like a collaboration work workspace. Yeah, I don't yeah. call it Teams anymore. I say here is your collaboration workspace yeah. and here is your uh, intranet sites or here is your team sites. Yeah, um, yeah. So, so that's uh, don't know, but I don't see this changing at all, at least for a while. <laughs> So anyway, uh, there's Microsoft always like, you know, uh, I, ha I have this issue of, uh, of naming um, where naming conventions used in, in, uh, in Office products and yeah. Microsoft products is, is weird. Um, it's not just uh, Teams. It's also, you know, the Microsoft 365, the Office 365 groups, you know, they're mm. still keeping the branding for Office 365 mm -hmm. uh, enterprise plans and, and getting yeah. away with uh, things. Yeah. And there's also things like uh, the previously the small business premium license, the mm. Office mm. 65 business premium license mm. now is, is, is called business, uh, Microsoft business standard or something like that. There, there is there is a bit of um, yeah, yeah. Swapping, or is uh, that called business essentials or something like that? Yeah, previously it was called business essentials. Now it's okay, yeah, business, yeah. business standard and business premium or something. Uh, and yeah, the previous yeah. business pre, pre, right. previously known business premium is 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 called something else now, okay. and there is yes. a new plan called business premium too. Oh so, yeah. Then, okay. Anyway, you know, uh, licensing has never been my league. It's way too confusing for me. <laughs> so I actually have to spend a good amount of time to get my head around all this, especially the licensing part. Yeah, so so we usually say Office 65 is not rocket science, but Microsoft licensing is a rocket is. science. <laughs> <laughs> so with that yeah. said, uh, you did mention about a, a recent story that uh, you helped a, a, yeah. a music academy in India um, yeah. get to use Microsoft Teams and continue to keep their business. So can you, can you uh, share that story with us? Sure, uh, Jack. Thank you for that. Uh, it is it. Uh, how should I say it? I'm actually very excited to talk about it. So um, I do have a number of musician friends from India. Um, and then, um, in fact, one of the guys is a leading music director in down south in India in the Malayalam industry. His name is Alphonse Joseph. Um, so he has been running a music academy in Kerala for quite a while now and he's got about 50 odd students or something and about five or six faculty members and so uh, like anyone else he's going through the pains of the lockdown and this COVID-19 thing and stuff like that um, he actually started off using zoom uh, about a week or so ago for, to uh, switch over to the online um, option of running his music classes and interestingly enough, we saw this security uh, concerns that came up in the Zoom. And then uh, so there's been a directive from the Indian government saying uh, Zoom has been completely banned in India. Um, so this guy was panicking. So he gave me a call last Friday at around 7 p.m. our time uh, saying, Chanda, I really need your help uh, because I was hoping to use Zoom, uh, which we kind of started off using it but now with this new government directive i am left with maybe too many options or options which i'm not even aware of which one to go with and so i straight away said to him look i think the answer to your questions is question is uh, microsoft teams and he said okay tell me more about it so that went on for about a uh, 
two hours call with him that evening. Then I set up a time with him for Saturday morning. So I gave him an overview of what Teams is all about and stuff like that. And then how we use it internally at work and how some of our clients use it. And so he got a good idea about, okay, what Teams can do. And then he said, okay, how can we make this happen for my music academy? So we caught up again on that Saturday morning, uh, went through another overview and then had some uh, he had some thoughts around um, in terms of the kind of classes that he wants to run. So he said he's got about six faculty members, each one specializing in either a piano or a vocal class or a violin class, so on and so forth. And each of those faculty members had about 10 or students, I think, in total about 55, 60 students in total in his music academy. Uh, so we said, OK, let's uh, he was completely sold that Teams was going to be the option for him what he was actually amazed about was the fact that beyond his requirement which was purely a online video conferencing uh, software for his music classes what teams offered uh, apart from that like a collaboration space that uh, you know a, a space where you can store all your files and things like that and then it's got much more no doubt about it and then uh, did did Siri say she's that, there? <laughs> it happens every time. I don't know. I'm sorry. Uh, so uh, and then he he uh, he was actually very impressed, and then he got a gist of how SharePoint works behind the scenes too, right? Right. But I didn't go deep dive into that, and so he was completely sold that okay, Teams is going to be the answer for us. Yes. How do we go about now setting it up? Um, now here comes the licensing uh, side of things. So I thought that maybe there's something called the team's free option that might be just worthwhile. And I was under the assumption that all the premium features would be actually included in the team's free option. And he may not even have to go through the licensing, at least for some time, because he could just do it for free. But maybe it differs from country to country or Microsoft is still in the transition uh, mode to, uh, you know, uh, make that happen across the board. But what we had to do though, is we started off with just buying one license. So that's called the, the business essentials license, yes. I think, which gives them teams and stuff like that, uh, which, which came down to just 125 rupees per user per month. Yeah. But, but with the thing here, though, is he had to commit for an annual thing, annual uh, commitment for this one to get the first six months free. So it's yeah. just not like without sign up, you get that. So he was OK with that, of course. And so we we decided to uh, set up his teams in within his music academy organization and stuff like that, which we did successfully. Yeah. He was very happy with that. So, and that's the first time ever is actually getting to see the Azure Active Directory and stuff like that. He, I had yeah. all sorts of questions from him saying, what the hell is Azure? Why, why do I have to remember this? And then after explaining him through it. So I had to go through the basics and I absolutely loved that process. Yeah. The thing is trying to explain some technical stuff to someone who doesn't have to even know, doesn't have yeah. to worry about those things. But I did tell him that it's, you just have to set it up once and then you're good to go. So yeah. he got a hang of it. In fact, I have to give him credit that he picked it up so very quickly, really quickly. He's a very switched on guy, I should say that. Yeah. And, and um, after our call, he actually spent a bit of time in his personal time to get additional file licenses for his five faculty members. And then he has gone about creating those users, attaching the license to them, and he has yeah. gone about creating the teams because I just walked him through on how to create a team and yeah. walked him through on how to set it up, what, a, what sort of structure he could have to start with. And yeah. then, and also uh, helped him to add um, had the guest users for his students per se. Um, and then, yeah, that's it. So he's, 
he's he's been on a roll and then later on saturday evening i got a call from him saying let's jump on to another team session i have some very specific questions and things like that so that's where he was wanting to know how his faculty members can uh, take control of scheduling classes um so we went through a little exercise of him scheduling something for me i used yeah. my personal email address as a student and things like that and how would it look like when i clicked on join the meeting thing so we went through a lot of use cases per se and sure. then he said i think we are all good i'm super impressed let's go ahead and walk through teams for about 35 odd people in the call tomorrow yeah and that came up so that's the change and adoption part uh, that's so right. these yeah. guys have never seen teams before and i uh, i could obviously see the participants faces because they had their video on of course i could see only four at a time and i could see people from all from a range of all all ages where there was one who was over 60 years old and he was also a teacher there and then there was someone who was just in his 20s so they were all very curious as to what the hell teams is and how are we going to conduct our classes how are we going to see our students through teams in yeah. this lockdown so walk through teams all over again uh, trying to tell them in 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 a layman stem term and they were absolutely impressed and uh, gave a quick walk through shared my desktop from this end uh, gave them a walk through of how they would go about scheduling something from their end and yeah. stuff like that so they were impressed and of course they were there were a number of questions from them uh, from them in terms of uh, you know uh, how are the students going to be communicated and yeah. how are they going to be uh, watching the classes and uh, can and also one of them actually asked can we have a live event where um, you know the director of that music academy is is the person who i was working with like uh, the guy i am i was helping alfons yeah. so he is the director of that music academy and he would love to have a live event to showcase what he is doing in the studio right sure, sure. to his yeah. faculty members and so and then live event was an answer they were blown away with that they said yeah. wow this is perfect this is exactly what they wanted and one thing though was that came up was uh, towards the end of the session was especially the vocal class uh, faculty uh, member saying look i would love to see my students while they are on the call with me and i have nine students can i see them all at a time and then comes okay uh, you can only see four at a time but great timing microsoft has just announced that they are rolling out up to nine members you can see them at, at a time and that's coming yeah. really soon within a week or so and they sure. were they were sold with that yeah. so long story short this was all set up in a span of two days uh, and of course i i do keep getting questions from him time and again in fact later today i'll be uh, spending a bit of time with him because he's got a lot more questions coming up as as the classes have just started and yeah. they, it's been it's day 3 with the music academy with classes going online and he sent me a message last night saying it's it's working a treat for yeah. him and it has taken away a big part of the worry that he had yeah. um uh, actually, that's actually quite good actually so you know in 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 this time of disruption for a business yeah. uh, like a music academy to continue to function and yeah. support their their uh, uh students and also the faculty members to keep That's having good. their jobs and you know providing that sort of uh, business mm -hmm. continuity using teams is amazing you know that's that's why we are here that's the vision that's yeah. the empowerment of of uh, you know people to continue mm -hmm. to go on with their work is is amazing mm -hmm. yeah. yeah thanks for sharing that uh, no story problem at all. I, i was very excited and then um, uh, he has been very kind uh, to spread the word uh to a lot more other musicians after this was all set up saying uh, sending them emails and then mentioning about me in their email saying chanda has been very helpful setting up our online school blah 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 and do get in touch with him if you need more help and yeah. things like that so i've started to get some messages from other musicians as well because they do have uh, music classes that they conduct yeah. uh, but who knows this might be something that we might be able to help more and more people but absolutely thanks yeah. to microsoft and thanks to microsoft teams Yeah it's not just in India right it's it's happening everywhere even yeah. here in Australia if if somebody needs that sort of uh, business continuity uh, yeah. so that you know they don't need to drop any classes or you yeah. know drop any of their business activities uh, you know there are tools out there 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 are there are um, there is technology to support you to be more mm. act, uh, more uh, you know 
um, to be to continue to be more productive and and yeah. and have your uh, job done. So I have a similar story, not exactly in the music yeah. world, but uh, it's something yeah. to do with health. Uh, I yeah. I did help even before the COVID nineteen st- stuff started happening. I did help a small uh, uh, medical pra- uh, uh, like a health group. Mm. Um, so what they they were they were actually. Uh, I think 200 odd people or so. They were using a different set of tools. Like mm. uh, they have go to meeting. They mm. have a uh, few people are using uh, Dropbox. Few people are using mm. Google Drives. They mm. they have their email in uh, in uh, G Suite. Mm. And they were using few other t- technologies to for for their work. Like you know they're using a um, a task management up, uh, app mm. as well. So they're paying a lot of money, uh, mm. m- multiple licenses and things like that. So they bought uh, they bought uh, they bought me in, and uh, we've done a sort of like review of what uh, technologies they're using, how we can actually consolidate and everything. So mm. we've we've bought all of them into into a business premium license, mm. and. And shown them how to use Teams to to do the collaboration and video conferencing mm. and things. We even touch base on uh, using the planner to do the task management, well, and we even conducted a, a migration of all the mailboxes across into uh, from G Suite um, into Exchange Online awesome. uh, and 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 things like that. So now because now then the COVID nineteen hit, and now they already have all the technology required for them to carry mm. on with uh, supporting mm. their doctors and mm. nurses and uh, and patients, mm. right? Mm. So with with COVID nineteen now what they're doing is they're actually um, you know uh, they they they're now actually using that for patient consultations. Mm. Mm. So so that patients can actually have that sort of uh, remote consultation happening. Mm. You know, mm. Mm. so it's it's amazing. Uh, uh, you know, it's it it the technology is there. It is just mm. that we need to know what to use and how to use it and actually yeah. package it up in a way that it is easy for people to comprehend. Um, yeah the the um what it can do for them like you said to before about um if the moment you actually took them on a on a on a on a adoption journey to show them yeah. all the benefits of what it can do and how it you yeah. can actually make them happen for them to to meet with their workflow mm. it is mm. easy it is not rocket science at all no. um, so uh, of course it is not about licensing so it's not a rocket science true i mean uh, <laughs> as i said uh, the um you know the age range of people who had joined that change and adoption thing towards the end we actually asked them uh, and uh, you know we were all uh, set to finish the call which actually went for about an hour and a half and towards the end i said i basically asked them what do you guys think and then they actually said it it is very easy even before they have actually had their hands on it and yeah. with what we went through and stuff they they found it pretty easy and straightforward and um, i'm i'm very impressed man because uh, this is this was a solution to something in real life in a situation like this and they were able to continue doing what they were doing in a different mode rather than yeah. physical now being online it's it's pretty amazing i love it absolutely i love yeah. stories like this yeah yeah especially you know other other businesses here in australia if if they're not using teams if they already have office 365 licenses mm. uh if they're using a whole stack of applications to support their business activities and mm. you know mm. think about what microsoft can do you know just mm. even if you don't want to implement it straight away mm. have a look at it and have mm. a look at uh, what teams can bring on board it's yeah. come a long way since maybe since you last checked uh, maybe 2 years ago yeah um, yeah and how it actually has that seamless collaboration with sharepoint and yeah. the other office 65 apps and even even apps from outside um, the office 65 ecosystem you can mm. you can bring those in and connect them up as well Absolutely. so so with that said, uh, I think if, let let's start to wrap wrap up this mm-hmm. uh, call, yeah. Um, yeah, the show here. So we wanted to talk about some of this, um, you know, things around what's your pet peeves on what's not working for you. It's it's well and good that we're all were talking about what's working, how great this product is. Yeah. But yeah. there are it it is it is never perfect, right? So in your in your experience, what are those things that you find it hard? Um, mm-hmm with using teams um now the thing is though uh there are a few uh but it's not very big a problem for me i can live with that but one of the thing is i do know that we now have custom backgrounds and stuff uh, to be honest i actually do not like it uh it's great but um i feel it's a lot more distracting i know my real background itself is distracting but uh 
personally, I would like to keep it real. But again, that may not be the case for every household. So uh, my my well, it's not really a pet peeve here. But the thing is, I mean, personally, I don't like the custom backgrounds. Um, uh, well, although it, it you're the first one to say that, actually, a lot of people on LinkedIn and uh, on uh, on the community are are going uh, nuts, nuts about <laughs> uh, yeah, going with the custom Maybe backgrounds. You want to- Maybe you want to edit this out in the podcast. I'm just joking. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I actually, I'm with you on that. I, I do understand. Talking to me later. <laughs> it's, um, it's a bit of fun. It's a bit of fun to start with. Uh, but, you know, uh, I, I do understand why they are there, uh, which is good. Yeah, of course. Uh, but I, I, I do. Uh, I, I'm with you on keeping it real and, and leaving it what you've got there. Yeah. Um, so as I touched base before, right, it, it is. I see it as a security feature more so than a, 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 a gimmicky one. Um yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Anything and else? The other thing is, and then of course, yeah, there are, there are just a couple more, I think. And then the other one is like the chat windows, man. Of course, I know those individual pop out chat windows are coming soon. I can't wait for that because right now it is a pain. And the other thing is, um, I know Microsoft has been working on that, but how far uh, that has been rolled out, I do not know. Switching between organizational profiles. I yeah. always find it as a bloody pain, to be honest. Sorry, you can edit this out if you like, but it's, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is a pain if I have to switch between Office 365 profiles. Um, and the other thing is... Um, um something that has been announced i mean which was a bit of a thing for me where we do have team meetings and we we are, we are more than four in our team for sure and then the thing is you can only see four at a time and then um yeah that's that's not really an issue per se but it's coming up soon uh, we can you can see up to nine people yep no doubt about it um what else can i think of um well, I think that's it for now. Um, yeah. yeah, I think I think that's it. Yeah, I, it's just not coming to my mind. Yeah, I think most of your pet peeves will be answered uh, by end of April, according to the roadmap and uh, according to what Microsoft uh, is, is putting out in, in LinkedIn and other other yeah. platforms. So even the organizational switching thing is also being uh, uh, support for multi-account is coming as well. Um, Do you know little- when? Uh, I think it'll probably be uh, in uh, mid middle of May or something like that. Yeah. I'm not sure yeah. entirely, okay. but I've seen I've seen uh, posts to that effect. Yeah. Um, and that's one of my uh, concerns yeah. uh, or pet peeves as well, because as a consultant, where, where you're actually working with, uh, you have your own company teams. You're also working with a lot of clients, and um, yeah. and uh, you know you you you're expected to be there and collaborate with your yeah. clients, client projects yeah. too. So yeah. switching between accounts has been a pain. So yeah. the way I, I resolve that is through using the using the browser base. So I have my own company thing as an app uh-huh. uh, yeah. running, uh, and I, I create user profiles in Microsoft Edge Chromium. Yeah, okay. Uh, and and I have like multiple multiple of, multiple um, uh-huh. of those user profiles, and I can have multiple windows, multiple browser yeah. windows yeah. running all of that. You can awesome. even save um, good idea. Uh, save a a tab as a as an app. So now what I have oh. is I actually have, um, you know, you know, saved app, uh, like you know the, mm-hmm. uh, the browser apps in in my in my taskbar. So mm-hmm. now I have like you know multiple of those. Like I have one for uh, mm-hmm. my my customer X and uh, mm-hmm. one for you guys and one for mm-hmm. my own company and so on. So that way I can have multiple windows running at the same time. Mm-hmm. So awesome. yeah, yeah, I, I, I should try that. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, the other thing is we all, we've already touched base on this before as well, right? Uh, my one of my concern, my pet peeves is is the naming. Is yeah, it's yeah, really yeah. it's uh, teams is is maybe works in the context of of a of a of a business, but now it's actually becoming more mainstream or going to commercial um, commercial uh, plans and supporting like the family plans and stuff like that. I think yeah. you know having a, a proper a, a different name would 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 be the right call to do i think uh, yeah. that's not coming yeah, in it is, it is confusing soon. no doubt about it is it, confusing yes. right it's uh, yeah so so if i gave you a microsoft teams t-shirt you'll say no i don't want it yeah <laughs> <laughs> no man i I'd, I'd love to have a t-shirt like that okay. but, uh, yeah um, <laughs> yeah but I, I wanted to i wanted to be called something i wanted to be called something like uh, 
Uh, talking about names, uh, we were working on uh, some governance stuff uh, for another customer here, yeah. and we were uh, we were talking about ShareGate, and uh, ShareGate has got this uh, product called Apricot. Apricot. Yeah, it's like, you know, hang on, who came up with this name? And then my customer is like, what? What do you want? Why are you talking about a fruit now? <laughs> so I, I told them, hang on, when you have an Apple iPhone, why not apricot? You know, it's a fruit as well. Yeah, so maybe something funny like that would, would be fine, you know. So if you were to yeah. name teams uh, with a fruit name, what would you think? Uh, what would I'll say, mm, okay, uh, thing that straight away comes to my mind, I'll probably call it happy. It's a happy call or something. Because <laughs> my oh, pet sounds, name is sounds happy. Weird, man. Is... Sounds weird. <laughs> Let's have a happy call. Let's have a happy call. I know it sounds a bit... Cornish. <laughs> uh, uh, maybe if it's... Uh, come on. Uh, this is a task for you. Uh, if you if you were to give Microsoft Teams a name, uh, use use a fruit, not happy, um, or, or, or uh, anything like that, uh, uh, what, would, what would be it? A fruit. Well, um, because you put me on the spot and I've got my breaky ride in front of me, I'll probably call it strawberry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Nice, nice. Uh, we, we can't use apple. Yeah, yeah. no. We can't, we use, can't use apricot of... because we it's it's already been taken care of by Sharegate. So and uh, the kiwi fruit, it's too big a name. Kiwi, and know. it's too niche as well. It's only no. for... Uh, so I think uh, strawberry. What about you? Uh, I, I think I'll call it banana. <laughs> <laughs> banana is in the shape of a, of a, of a telephone, let's right? Let's jump on a banana call. <laughs> yeah, let's jump on a banana call. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Perfect, man. Thanks for that, um, Chanda. Right. Uh, so I look forward to the next episode where we'll discuss uh, a bit more about, uh, you know, how you can create usable apps. Uh, I know you want to talk about uh, there's a few other apps that uh, you guys, SXIQ, have started to build uh, yeah. some forms as well. Yeah. Um, I've also done a, a created a portal to support your to support our remote workforce. Um, so I wanted to touch base and showcase that as well. So I look Thank forward you. to the next episode. For sure. Thank you, Jay. Thanks, Chanda. There you have it. Uh, hope you enjoyed this episode of the Stories of Modern Work podcast. If you did and wanted to keep tabs on uh, on the podcast when a new episode gets out, uh, please consider subscribing to the Stories of Modern Work podcast on uh, the app that you're listening on. The podcast itself is available on all major podcasting applications such as Google Podcasts, Stitch Up, Spotify, and also on Apple Podcasts as well. And uh, if you're in the market for Office 365 user training or um, custom business solutions, please do uh, check out the modernwork.cloud website to know more information and engage us. Thanks for uh, listening or watching this podcast and uh, stay tuned for the next one. Thanks, everybody. This is Jag signing off.